Hi everyone, today we are going to work on the Nash Equilibrium and in particular with the entry game, okay? So let's start. Here we have our entry game in the extensive form game, okay? So let's start. Here it is. Here, first of all, let's consider that we are in a market, okay, where uh, there is only one firm, that is firm 2, okay? Firm 2 it is inside the market, okay? So now, firm 1 has to decide to enter in the market or not to enter in the market, okay? So that's our situation. So, firm 1 or player 1, whatever, yeah, decides, has to decide not to enter in the market not to enter or to enter in the market. Imagine that decides not to enter in the market. Then the payoffs will be for player one. Okay, the first number is for the payoffs for uh, player one will be zero because that firm will not enter. So they won't have any pay any payoffs. No no benefits. Okay, no profits. Okay. And the payoffs for player 2 or firm 2 will be 8. If firm 1 decides to enter, then, then we arrive to another decision node. Another decision node. That is this one. Here, player 2, firm 2 needs to decide another thing. To fight, to fight or not to fight. Okay? What does what does it mean this okay if a uh, player 2 decides not to fight then the payoffs for each play each player each firm will be 4 and 4 okay for for firm 1 and 4 for firm 2 in this case the payoff for firm 2 will be smaller than here why because that firm will have another competi another competitor in the market that will be firm 1 so the profits will decrease because of that competitor, okay? But the profits for uh, firm one will increase respect to not entering the market, okay? But firm two also can decide to fight. Then if player two fights, then the payoffs will be negative for each firm. Okay, now we, what are these points? Okay, we have explained how it works. Okay, but what are these points? For example, these points are decision nodes. That means that in those points, um, players or firms in this case has to decide whether to do an option or an action or another action. Okay. And in these nodes, they have an information set, okay? What is an information set? Okay, the information set is all information available in a decision node, okay? So, for example, here, firm 2 knows whether firm 1 entered in the market or not, okay? So, that's the information set. Okay, so, from this, uh, well, in this case, in this case, uh, we can see that we have a perfect information game. Why? Because all players know what has happened in previously in the game. Okay? If it wasn't like this, if they didn't know what happened previously, then we will then we would be in an imperfect imperfect uh, information game, but it is not the case. Okay, so this is the extensive form game of our entry game. Now we are going to analyze the normal form game, okay? How we can uh, convert the extensive form game to the normal form game? Okay, here we have player one, okay? And this is player two, okay? So, imagine that player one chooses not to enter, okay? Whatever player two, decides fight or not to fight, 
the payoffs also or always will be these ones. Why? Okay, it may, let's say that player one doesn't enter the market. In this case, if it doesn't enter to the market, the payoffs will be these ones. Okay, it doesn't matter what decides from two. Okay, doesn't matter because if it, if player one does not enter, then the payoff are these ones. Okay. Now let's say that uh, player one decides to enter in the market and player two not to fight, for example. Okay, then we will be here. Yep. Okay, in that case, in that case, if player one decides to enter and then player two or firm two decides not to fight, we have these payoffs. Okay, so in this way we can convert the extension for game to the normal from game. Okay, and with this, the same thing. Okay, now, now let's compute the Nash equilibrium. First of all, what is the Nash equilibrium? Okay, all combination of strategies will be, will constitute a Nash equilibrium if, if uh, each player's a strategy choice yeah is the best response to the strategy played by his or her rival okay so it looks like mutual best responses okay that would be the Nash equilibrium that is the definition now we are going to compute it in a practical way so let's say okay this is player one, player two, yep. So let's say that uh, player one doesn't enter the market, not to enter in the market. Okay, in this case, in this case, we will be here, here. What would do player two? Okay, the payoffs for player two are eight and eight. Yeah, the second number are the payoffs for from two, the first numbers are the payoffs for from one. So here, eight and eight. Then player two will be indifferent. Okay, why? Because he doesn't matter to earn eight or eight. He's indifferent. So we are going to underline both of them. Okay. Now let's say that uh, player one chooses to enter decides to enter in the market. Okay, in this case we have 4 and minus 1. 4 is greater than minus 1. So the profits are greater if player 2 decides not to fight. Okay? Okay, now, so we underline that. Now, let's say that player 2, now we are going to focus on the point of view of player 2, so let's say that player 2 decides not to fight, okay, not to fight, okay, in this case, what will do player 1, not to enter or enter, okay, the payoffs are this one, so 4 is greater than 0, so obviously player 1, firm 1, will choose to enter in the market in this case, okay, and what happens if player 2 decides to fight okay if he decides to fight then firm one would would choose not to enter because payoffs are greater deciding not to enter that enter in, in entering in the market okay so we have here the Nash equilibriums in this case we have two Nash equilibriums this one and this one Okay, so in the practical way, the both ones that are underlined will constitute the Nash equilibrium. But as I said, the Nash equilibrium are like mutual best responses. No, you know, the best response for uh, player two uh, and player one are mutual here and here. So those would be the Nash equilibriums. Okay, so these are the Nash equilibriums. Enter not to fight and not to enter and fight, okay? And it is very important to write the Nash equilibriums in terms 
of strategies, okay, as we did here. So that's all. Thanks.